This place is called uh, Busia. It's one of the unofficial crossing points. We started receiving people here from late August. At one time we had over 1,000 people crossing here. That was how they were crossing. Women and the children, they were just falling in. And it was raining. It's very slippery. Mm -hmm. so, and we built a bridge. And we made it very small, specifically for people, not for commercial traffic. How many people cross here today? Uh, it depends. Sometimes we can get over 1,000, 1,500. Civilians are caught between all this uh, conflict, which means basically they are afraid of the government, they are afraid of the rebels. And when they get here, you can see really they're very tired. They tell us uh, very horrific stories uh, about rape of women. Uh, they have to pay at every checkpoint. People are being killed. We find a lot of people in very desperate situation when they arrive here. Welcome. Uganda is an exemplary country. After arriving in Busia, for example, in 36 hours, they have a piece of land, um, 30 by 30 meters. They have uh, 50 by 50 meters of uh, cultivation land. Once they are registered, they are free to travel anywhere in Uganda. They are free to work. And uh, there's so much dignity in how Uganda and the partners, UNHCR and the partners, respond to the emergencies. È abbastanza, abbastanza duro e intenso guardare, guardare gli occhi di chi arriva perché mh, sono occhi che contengono due espressioni allo stesso tempo, il sollievo per aver passato indenni come dire, giorni se non a volte settimane e dall'altra parte sono occhi mh, ovviamente pieni di, pieni di speranza per tutto quello che, che li accoglierà qua.